In this presentation, we will discuss about cleavage and fracture. To start with, let's observe this specimen of halide. It is composed of Na and Cl and it crystallizes in cubic system. The arrangement of ions inside the cubic structure have some weak planes which are parallel to the faces of the cube. Similarly, graphite also has weak planes which are parallel to the hexagonal sheets of carbon and graphite owes its softness to these weak planes only. The existence of weak planes in a crystalline structure is a common phenomenon. In minerals, atomic structures are not same in all directions and chemical bonds are not all of same length. Therefore, orientation and manner of breaking are important clues to crystal structure. Whenever a mineral breaks, it does so as cleavage or as fracture. Minerals may break along flat or curved or crooked surfaces. When a mineral breaks in a smooth planar surface, the mineral is said to have a cleavage. And when a mineral breaks along a cleavage plane, the breaking is regular and controlled by internal atomic structure. However, when a mineral fractures, it is neither regular nor controlled by the internal atomic planes. We will learn about fracture later. So, the planes in which mineral breaks are called cleavage planes. They are parallel faces of weak chemical bonding between parallel layers of atom in the mineral. The spacing between cleavage planes is in the order of Armstrong, that is, 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. And those cleavage planes are oriented with respect to the internal structure. This orientation is referred to as the cleavage direction. The direction and angular relationship between cleavage planes gives valuable information about atomic structure of minerals. Cleavage is reproducible, meaning that a mineral can be broken along the same face over and over again. All cleavage planes must be parallel to a possible crystal face. The direction and angular relationship between cleavage planes is used to identify various types of cleavage, which we shall explore now. Cleavage is an excellent diagnostic property for use and field, and the knowledge of classification comes extremely handy to identify common minerals like quartz and feldspar apart. Minerals like quartz may show well-developed faces, but they do not exhibit cleavage, since they have no plane of weaker bonds as all bonds in every direction are equally strong. Such minerals are said to have cleavage in zero direction or that they have no cleavage and they break or fracture in an irregular manner. Mica minerals like muscovite and biotite split easily into paper thin sheets along one direction like pages of a book and so mica minerals have one prominent cleavage direction and is thus said to have cleavage in one direction. Minerals like feldspar have cleavage in two directions. These two planes may be perpendicular to each other as they are in feldspar but they may also not be perpendicular, which is the case in amphiboles, as here it makes an angle of 120 degrees. Cleavage is also helpful to distinguish between pyroxenes and amphiboles. Both minerals are generally dark colored and have two sets of good cleavage. However, the two cleavage of pyroxenes intersect at 93 degrees, whereas the two cleavage of amphibole intersect at 120 degrees, allowing them to be differentiated apart. Galena is a lead ore and has 3 cleavage at 90 degree and is thus said to have cleavage in 3 directions. Halite also has cleavage in 3 directions. The 3 planes of cleavage may be perpendicular to each other as they are in halite or they might not be so as it is in calcite which do not have cleavage at right angles. Fluorite and diamond have cleavage in 4 directions and these directions are parallel to the faces of an octahedron. Spellerite is a common ore of zinc. Cleavage planes are parallel to faces of a rhombodicahedron and in this crystal form, there are 6 pairs of 2 parallel faces. Therefore, this mineral has cleavage in 6 directions. Diamond is the hardest known mineral and so it is only possible to cut along its cleavage planes which are parallel to octahedral faces. This image shows the large scale diamond structure with multiple carbon tetrahedra. The cleavage planes here will be parallel to a face which is here shown by the arrows. Apart from cleavage, some minerals show parting. This phenomenon looks like cleavage but it is not cleavage. Parting is due to crystallographic imperfections such as twin planes and not due to weakness of atomic structure. Parting will not be present in all specimens of a particular mineral but only in those with imperfections. Parting surfaces are usually less smooth than cleavage planes as seen in this image of corundum. This property makes corundum relatively softer as it easily breaks along parting planes. Cleavage is not only the physical property of minerals, it is also a well-known property of rocks also, like the slaty cleavage present in slate. This makes the rock more useful as it breaks into thin slabs which are used as roofing. 
Remember in the beginning, I told you that breaking of a mineral occurs as either cleavage or fracture. Now let us see what fracture is. If a mineral does not exhibit cleavage, it breaks in an irregular manner known as fracture. Though it is unwise to break good crystals, recent fractured minerals can sometimes reveal the true color of certain minerals. There are six types of fractures, namely even, uneven, hackly, splintery, fibrous, and conchoidal. Chart shown here shows even fracture as the fracture is nearly flat shaped. But when the fracture surface is rough or irregular, like in rhodonite shown here, the fracture is called uneven. Mineral surfaces studded with sharp elevations along the fracture surface are said to have hackly fracture and this is shown by native copper. Minerals like kyanite break into pieces having sharp corners and edges. Such fracture surfaces are called splint tree and are also found in petrolite. Minerals composed of fibrous aggregates also break in a fibrous fracture surface as the stuff shows fibrous fracture. And finally, when the mineral breaking surface is curved, the fracture is called conchoidal. Quartz, flint, natural gas, and diamond show this fracture. This conchoidal fracture had great significance to early human ancestors as they used this property to carve stone tools out of flint. When two curved surfaces meet, they produce an extremely sharp edge perfectly suited to be used as arrowheads, hammers, spears, and other tools which greatly helped prehistoric man to survive in wilderness. Thank you.